It's been an exciting past 24 hours here in the district with the return of giant pandas <laughs> at the National Zoo. The zoo is back open uh, this morning, but unfortunately visitors will not be able to see the pandas just yet. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Our Leslie Moreno live with a uh, with a with a sneak peek Ooh. of a cute duel. Now, Leslie, what's what's next with the pandas now that now that they're they're at the zoo? Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, we are actually inside the zoo right now. We've been allowed inside to uh, get a little bit of a sneak peek into the new habitat here as well. We've been learning about the pandas personalities. We've been learning about the quarantine process and just talking to a lot of different experts, zoo staff, uh, vets about how this is all going to unfold right now. We're told uh, Bao Li and Ching Bao are getting acclimated to their new home. We know they arrived uh, uh, almost 24 hours ago now, we actually spoke to uh, the assistant curator of the giant pandas. Uh, she tells me, you know, these next few days are crucial. This is a time when the pandas are getting used to the staff, the vets, their voices, of course, all the noises and their newly renovated habitat. We're told they will be having new climbing structures, a new pool as well. And based on what we know so far, it sounds like the pandas will really uh, be enjoying their new home here here in the district. We also spoke with uh, Dr. James Steele, who traveled to China to meet the two uh, new pandas. He says they both have great personalities. They're full of energy. He says Bao Li, which is the male, is outgoing. He says uh, Ching Bao is the girl who is a little bit more reserved, but playful when she's comfortable. Take a listen. Personality wise, I would say it's we're still learning, but um, Ching Bao seems to be definitely a little more reserved than Bao Li, a little more nervous about the new sounds, and, and Bao Li's just sort of taken over like he's lived here forever. <laughs> they will, they'll undergo like a 30 day quarantine period, and then from there, um, we that gives us the ability to look at their health assessments to make sure everything is looking good, um, and then the acclimation period is when we start to ramp up their activity to the yards, to other people. Um, to gauge what we should expect for when they make their public debut. And for now, we're told uh, the two pandas have not had a chance to interact with each other. This is part of uh, the acclimation process, but we are told they're eating and they're sleeping. So this is a good sign of them, uh, you know, getting used to their new home here and getting acclimated to all of this. Unfortunately, as we've been mentioning all day uh, yesterday, uh, the pandas won't be um, available for you to meet them or see them until January of 2025. But we are being told that the Panda Cam uh, is going to be ready on January 24th, and that is going to be from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Guys, yeah. I know I know people can't wait because when the pandas left, they shut that camera down, and people are clearly still looking for them. <laughs> what a fun yeah. assignment! Yeah, for that's sure. great. Good job, Leslie. It was great to see that recent video, though, of oh, Bali so and cute. Ching Bao. Right. Uh, WSA 9 is your home for all things Panda. Okay. You can rewatch all of our coverage of the arrival streaming on WUSA 9 Plus. We'll keep the story on the homepage of WUSA 9 Plus, and you can watch it on your time.